Hey guys, welcome back to a video of Star Trek Fleet Command. So, I did get a question about faction and how much are blueprints and how many blueprints do you need for your faction ship. So, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> so, uh, forgive me if I break a couple of hearts out there about what I'm going to tell you. But first, I did manage to get to 100k in Romulan faction uh, while managing my federation above 500k. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, so, <clears throat> as you know, in order to get your first faction blueprints for your first faction ships you need above five hundred thousand in faction favor so i'm gonna look at the federation here and i'm gonna go over the two ships available to me the first is the saladin and that is the first faction warship that i can get so each blueprint for this saladin is 200 faction credits and I have 5,400. So I can buy 27 blueprints. And keep in mind, that was a $100 package in there. That got me about 37.50 of them. The rest I earned. And so in order for me to unlock the Saladin, I would need 100 blueprints. So we, we're already $100 in. So we need another 73 blueprints. So let's take a look and see how much money we would have to spend for that. So I'm gonna go over to here. So that's 37.50. And I am going to pull up a calculator here quick and say, okay, 37.50 divided by 200. So, we get 18 blueprints, 18.75 blueprints, times that by 4 equals 75. So I will need to invest another $400 in order to unlock the first faction ship, a total of $500 for a ship in a mobile game. $500. $500. So, um, so that's exactly what it's going to take. Now, you can grind out the units. And Scopely is doing <clears throat> um, an okay job with this. Actually, let, let me go over to my, my Federation. That'll, that'll be better. So, let's see how many. I, I got 110. Hundred and sixty. All right. So if you do that event, you can get hundred and sixty faction units or credits. And then if I do my dailies, let's take a look. There's fifteen, forty-five, sixty. And 90. So that's a total of 250. 250 units you earn per day. So if you do the daily event along with your dailies, you can buy a blueprint a day. And that will only take you 100 days. But this is for anyone over 500,000 faction. Because the dailies, and I assume the um, the daily faction event you sign up for, is going to be less if you're below that tier. So, it's actually not that bad for non-spenders. You only have to... Let's, let's do this. Let me do this math here quick. 250 times 90. Okay. So that's 22,500 units you can earn in a three month period. And I believe the Saladin is 20,000 units. So you can get it within 
90 days of gameplay of just doing the daily event and your dailies. So that would be a great way of going about not having to spend for it. Problem for me running dual factions, it's hard because the more Federation stuff I do, the more favor I'm going to lose from the Romulans. And so I'm trying to rebalance the two of them. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, and while I'm making this video, I just want to touch on the the stuff Scopely came out with today. And so they came out with items in the store. So you see the stolen goods over here. And there's a whole plethora of stuff you can get. And this is this is actually interesting because in other games I've played, when there's a chance, let's see, they and you're spending money. This is this is the the fine line here because are they considering alliance token spending money? Can you buy them? I don't think you can buy them. I think you actually have to earn them. So I don't think they have to post the the pull rates on these if it was something that they were having you buy and then you had a chance on they would have to post pull rates on but the way i see this event is you spend 755 alliance tokens for a regular recruit token <laughs> that you get from your dailies because i always i never go oh my god i'm gonna get that ultra recruit token um, because I'm just so lucky. No, I don't think that uh, that way. Or I'm going to get 310 Latinum. Or I'm going to get 12 Uncommon Ore. No, I don't think that way. Um, you have to think of the worst case scenario <laughs> in this kind of situation. Because that's usually what's going to happen. And then one other thing that was funny was... Um, was this. The resource malfunction. So... And what I'm seeing is this is level based. So this is tier based. So they're telling me to hand in 50 million par steel for a token for 50 million par steel. Well, I don't know anyone that's level 28 or above with 50 million par steel just hanging out. Or even even 8 million to lithium. I, I believe the titanium. Um, there's a lot of titanium being held by the higher level players. Um, I even talked to my friend who is the number one player on our server and he has dumped more money than it, it, it makes me sad when I hear it, <laughs> but, um, he's relying on his generators for Dilithium right now because the server is just run dry of resources that can be raided. There's nothing left to be raided. Um, and that's something Scopely is going to have to figure out on its own of what they're going to do with that situation because from what I hear that is um, that's not an isolated problem to our server and I did do the critical system error token so I handed them five standard packs and I got a Kirk shard so April Fool's on me on that one <laughs> but um Overall, how I'm feeling toward the game. I've been playing timelines a lot and I've been waiting to post a video on timelines because there's just like so much content there. I'm really enjoying all the different characters that you've seen in the television series and the movies throughout all time. And they definitely have a lot of fun of fun events and I've it's ridiculous how cheap their things are. Um so I'm having fun with that game. I'm a little little concerned from what I hear at the the top tier players how there's really nothing there for them. And I still want to check in with some top tier players and see or if anyone's watching this video you want to comment about Star Trek timelines and kind of fill in everyone of you know where the game is at for you specifically. That would be great. Um, but as of right now, I'm kind of little less than lukewarm feeling towards this game. I think it's kind of had its day in the sun. 
And I, I think Scopely could definitely fix the problems with the player base. But ultimately, it's up to them. They need to... They simply... I mean, a big thing that would revitalize this game is give everyone 100 million dilithium, 100 million parseal, 100 million tritanium. Give it to them. <laughs> and and I, I do understand that it's going to create an imbalance because the people who are getting it, who aren't actively playing the game, who aren't actively shielding, is going to give an imbalance of of resources to other players. So what I would say to that is figure out something along the line. A uh, hundred million is just, you know, a thrown out number and it's really excessive, but do something to keep your players engaged. You can offer the resources through events if you want players to get engaged in the game. However, like I've said before, I can't, I can't think about even spending any money towards this game because there is no game. It is just the game that we create amongst ourselves. There is no content. And for me, my time and my money are huge investments. But I think time more than anything is a huge investment. So give us something that we want to invest our time and money into. Um, I have seen a lot of purchases skyrocket. People are getting chips. People are going back and forth, you know, doing that eye for eye um, combative stuff. And, and that's cool. If that's what, if that's what you enjoy. And if you come to the game and that gives you joy and fun and gets you away from your reality. I mean, cause ultimately that's what, that's why we come to the mobile games is to kind of just escape our lives for a moment and pick up a new character and play that character and have fun with it. And then go back to our daily lives. Um, for, for me, like, I've been talking to a lot of people and they're like, oh my god, this game is so much work. And what they're talking about is they're talking about managing alliances, man managing personalities, things like that. And um, and on top of that, they're, they're not even playing a fun game. So a lot of us have been branching out into other Star Trek games. I've been uh, even branching out to um, Marvel Contest of Champions. And I've been having a lot of fun with those games. Um, definitely want to make some videos. Um, I made one video before about um, Alien Domain, which I think is definitely a um, good amount of fun. And there's really no spending involved in that game. So I will continue to post videos. Um, I'm still playing Star Trek Fleet Command. Still talking to my friends um, on the game. Um, but... I, I definitely have legitimate concerns about the future of this game going forward. So um, I hope everyone takes care of themselves. Be kind to one another. Uh, comment below, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.